in June of 2018. Four friends and I left to walk the 500-mile Francis route of the Camino de Santiago. We spent a good part of a year training for the pilgrimage. Before we left, I set up a Facebook page called Five on the Way What Camino Means for us to share our pictures, videos, and reflections. It's still up if you're curious. We gave ourselves five weeks for the journey, but I ended up completing only a week and 100 miles. We flew to Barcelona, visited the Sagrada Familia Basilica, the monastery at Montserrat, and Lourdes, before arriving in St. John Pied de Port, in southern France. We began on Sunday, June 17, excited yet anxious. Could we really walk 500 miles in five weeks, averaging over 14 miles a day? We would find out soon, because the first day is supposedly the hardest a tough hike over the Pyrenees Mountains into northeast Spain. Right away, I learned not to trust the signs. One outside of St. John teased us by saying we'd be at our destination in six hours. Nine hours later, I was exhausted and nowhere near my home for the night. When I finally made it, I wanted to collapse into bed, but Sunday Mass was in 15 minutes, and a much-needed dinner after that, so I had to wait. Although each day became a bit easier, that was my pattern over the next six days. On day five, I received a call from Yolanda that my father, who had bladder cancer but was thought to be stable, was at stage four, and decided to forego additional treatment. He was given two to three months to live, so I figured I'd make it back before he passed. He knew how much time, effort, and money I had put into this trip, and wanted me to stay until I finished it. I spent the sixth day walking alone, and began to feel selfish for wanting to stay. The seventh day, I made the difficult decision to leave the Camino to spend as much time with my father as I could, accompanying him while he was completing his Camino de Cielo, his way to heaven. Besides, I could always go back and finish my Camino the following year, right?